This is a pretty cool one. Guys, nice. welcome to our channel. And in today's video, we'll be opening up the micro toy box. This is series one. As you can see the packaging, it looks like a treasure chest. Pretty cool. There's gems and like coins all over, but let's not focus on the box for too long. These were sent to us by Super Impulse and Hasbro. So thank you guys so much for sending us these. These are actually really cool. So from what I heard, these are $5.99. I think that was uh, the pricing on the Toy Wiz website. So these are, I think they're $5.99. If they're not, let us know down below and we will make sure to fix that. We'll probably pin it in the comments. Just let us know that we got that, if we got that wrong or correct. So here is the packaging. Like I said, I was talking about this earlier in the video kind of. Or just like mentioning some of the stuff. But yeah, there are some coins and gems on there. Pretty cool. Kind of looks like a like a lunch pail. On the side, it's more of a treasure chest. Kind of looks like a Fortnite chest. Actually, or like it looks like the... The Krusty Krab. I don't know, something or something about it reminds me of the Krusty Krab. We got some more coins and jewels. So before I actually open these toys... In the last video, I actually mentioned that my... If you look at my thumbs, like the, the under the nail... Is like actually like green or teal. I just wanted to point that out. It's not like a fungal disease or whatever. Yesterday, the day before Halloween day for school, and I actually needed uh, my costume was Beast Boy. I was matching with my girlfriend. She was Raven, and our, my costume was Beast Boy. So I had to dye my hair green, like a darkish green. And for some reason, I thought that it was gonna stick to my hair, and my hair is like completely like dark, dark black. And at the end, I think it actually made it blacker. And I had to wash it out, my hair, and I was there for like 30 minutes. I made a huge mess with dye all over the the bathroom. It was a complete disaster. My mom had to clean it up. And then there's basically just, my, my fingers are stained. Because they didn't wear gloves. And like some, my, some parts of my hands are stained. And I was scrubbing and scrubbing on my hands for like at least 10 minutes, 20 minutes. But yeah. I just wanted to mention that before we actually get into it. So let's take out the first thing in here. So here's what came in the box. It says Series 1 Miniature Collections. This is 8 and up. There's 50 to collect. Micro Toy Box. Collect them all. Here on the side. Let me just see what I can name from this. Power Ranger. Uno. A Nerf Gun. Oh, it's a Nerf Rival Gun. An 8 Ball Connect 4 Candyland. Oh, that thing that you put on your eyes and it's like a visor thing, but you click it and then it swaps. A Hot Wheels. On this side, there's Transformers, Crocodile, more Nerf. On this side, more... Oh, there's actually Masters of Universe. Oh, that's actually cool. I hope I get Masters of Universe. If I don't, I'm going to be kind of sad. But right, let's just hope. Here's the second thing in there. It's the exact same thing. Here's what it looks like. That's the bottom. That's the top. Take the flip. So on the top, it actually this is actually kind of cool because you're kind of able to see what you're gonna get. Like this one, it shows you you're gonna get guaranteed uh, but uh, monkeys in a barrel. Five toys aside, use toy box package to store and display. That's cool. Shows you where to open it. Series one, micro toy box. And yeah, so yeah, they're each different. So this one's actually Candyland. If you can see that in there. Let me see if I can flip it this way. Well, now I can see it a lot better. It's actually Candyland right there. So now that I showed you guys what the package looks like and everything, let's actually show you what these toys are looking like. Ooh. I thought this was going to be like a satisfying, like a, like yogurt, but it's actually plastic. Which is fine. It's cheaper. Easier. And because it's cheaper, we get to have more. So we're never going to run out. Pretty cool. Here's the first one. Here's the one that was actually on the cover of the thing. We have Candyland. It looks like Santa says Hasbro, the classic game of Sweet Adventure. It's actually fully detailed if we like flip it around kind of. We can actually see the back of the box. If you open these, there's going to be nothing in them. They're kind of hard. So yeah, definitely do not open these. Not worth it. You're just going to ruin your toy. Oh. That's the checklist. Oh. Oh, we got a sticker. It's not a checklist. It's, this is a sticker. So here's the sticker. It says... Hot Wheels Hot Rod. Shows Hot Wheels. It shows a hot rod. It says 2014 on there. It's like a other car on there. It's like a greenish car. It says Micro Toy Box Series 1. This is pretty cool. Hot Wheels Rip. Oh, Hot Wheels Rip Rod. My bad, guys. Okay, so let's take off this outer shell plastic. Ooh, so these are in a blind bag form. Okay. 
pretty cool. There's a checklist all the way down at the bottom. The saver. Is it cool? So these are made by World Smallest. At first, we didn't know if these were or they weren't, so we tried not to mention them because these are so similar. They are World Smallest, okay? So this is like more World Smallest, but like. You get five times the value because a, a regular world smallest is like five dollars or six dollars depends where you get them from i don't know the exact price this is micro toy box world smallest with the little ant on there 50 to collect super impulse pretty cool oh so i forget these ones out i know the world smallest um the world smallest checklist is like the coolest thing ever because it's a huge row and it has like a you can see all the toys so let's start from the top. This is a checklist. There's blue, yellow. There's different colors, meaning different stuff. I know the gold is like a uh, grace. I think it says there. And the silver is rare. And I don't know what the yellow or the blue are. But we have we have Power Rangers, Transformers, G.I. Joe, My Little Pony, Mystery Toy, Teddy Bear, Rubik's Cube, Light Bright, Monkey in a Barrel, Ouija, Candyland, which is the one we have, Monopoly Connect 4, Tinker Toy, and so many others. We have Nerf. Go to the other side. And like more of the sort of kiddish toys, like the small kids. Mattel Electronic Games Football. Mattel Electronic Games Basketball. Those are pretty cool. Master of the Universe. I'm really looking forward to those. Barbie, Hot Wheels, and different board games. Rad Robots. So enough of the checklist. Let's get into the actual toys themselves. The actual product. So I'm going to start with the smallest one. Actually, no, this is not the smallest one. Now that I pick it up. These scissors do not cut well, guys, let me tell you. Look at how easy that cut. Cut like butter. Smooth like butter. Ooh. So, guys, we got Pictionary, the game of quick draw, second edition. This is pretty cool on the back. Shows, like, the actual Pictionary board game. That's probably what the box actually looks like. Pretty cool, on to the next one. Now, excuse me, this is the smallest one now. That opens like butter. Kind of satisfying. Ooh! Let me so this toy I actually own, like the actual life-size version, but I have the other one. This is the less rare one. The other one has like uh, clear parts on it, pretty cool. And here's what it looks like, it's like the Nerf gun, and this one, People say it's kind of bad, but it's kind of easy to mod. You can make it into like a bull action sniper, like the actual Nerf gun, not this, obviously. We have the handle, we have the mag, looks like a 10 round or 12 man, 12 round. The pump action on the top, we have the, um, what's it called? The stock and the barrel. This is the second biggest one. Get it out. Oh, so we got, I have a chatter phone. So be my sister Bella actually owned the chatter phone. So this, it, uh, I know this from Toy Story. They're pretty cool. They roll mm -hmm. around. I think the eyes move too. You can ring it and it goes, it's kind of annoying. If you have a kid, it goes ring, 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 ring. Yep. Pretty cool. The blue wheels on there, everything. Mm -hmm. Even has the branding on the side. So this is the last one. Let's see. Let's hope this is the masses of the universe, guys. Let's just hope. Let's pray. Oh, we got the light bright. Okay, so this one's also pretty cool. So let's take a close up look at this one. So as you guys can see, it's... Oh, I thought it'd be cool if I actually had the pegs, but no. This one, I'm gonna be honest, guys. This one's kind of a little, like, on the mess side. Because it's just a piece of plastic with a sticker on it. But it is pretty cool. Like, if you have this displayed on a shelf, I think that would be pretty cool. So here's what we got. We're taking out the stuff. We got monkeys in a barrel. And here's the barrel we got. It says barrel of monkeys. Um, this one actually, unfortunately, it does not open and close. So now let's open up the monkeys. See, we got like a, what is it called? Monkeys. Here's what they look like. They kind of look like Lego crabs, don't they? When they're all bundled up like this, they look like Lego crabs. Right here. They hook. It's not focusing because the camera being a little weird right now. It's just not focused. But they do hook, guys. Take my word for it. These are pretty cool. They're pretty detailed as well. So let's break into the other part of the box. For the sticker, we got Master of the Universe He-Man. That was pretty cool, huh? 
I'm gonna put that on like my uh, binder or something. Pretty cool. This is the biggest one. I'm gonna save that for the end. There's another mm, kind of okay one. Another medium one. Kind of small. What is this? Checklist? We already saw the checklist. So I'm gonna open up the first one that I got my hands on because I don't really mind. There are 50 and think of like. So the odds that I get He Man is 1 in 50. But they're not zero. Oh, I was taking that the wrong way. Oh, so we got one of the fire trucks, and I'm pretty sure that this is also in Toy Story. I think so. Yeah. So this is pretty cool. So this has like the, the fireman on there, and it has the the yellow ladder on there, the red body, like a fire truck. Pretty cool, but not that impressive to me. And that's just because I'm not four years old, guys. Come on. So open up the next one. Boom. Chicka boom. Chicka booyah. Oops, accidentally dropped it, guess. It's my bad. What the heck? It's my bad. So we got Black Goose. Let's look at this. We got Black Goose. So it says playtime 30 minutes, players 2 to 4, ages 7 and up, family by mother something. Black Goose. And this looks like to be a block game. I don't know if it's a puzzle game or whatever, but I have never played that. So let's get on to the next one. I'll grab this one. I think this is the biggest one. Seems to be a tube of some sort. I thought this was Parmesan. Ooh, you know what? This right here. This brought me back to back to the good days. Back to elementary school. Let me tell you, when I went to let me let me actually let me just show this close up. Back when I was in uh I don't know, fifth, fourth grade. I went to the after school program. I think it was called Kids First. And I had a friend who uh, went to Kids First. His name was Kenneth at the time. He was a pretty good friend of mine. He was like one of the cool kids. I think it was Kenneth. I think me, Kenneth, and Gabriel, we would build with the link. No, I think, I think it was just me and Kenneth. We would build with these uh, linking, uh, Lincoln logs and we would build like different structures and stuff. I think we built like forts. I don't remember exactly, but yeah. This just brought me back to those days. Back when I was in elementary. And it was actually really cool. So this is the next one. Ooh, oh. Kind of shot out. We have Uno. This is a pretty cool one. This is like a classic one. Everybody knows about Uno. Everybody knows how to play Uno. So right here it has like the wild cards, the a blue four, a green three, a yellow two. Just says it actually shows the rules that my eyesight is not that good, guys, so I'm not able to read that unfortunately. Says two to ten players, seven and up. So that's pretty cool. I think that's the last one we have for today, guys. Here are all of the ones that we got. They're all in my hand, I think, besides the barrel and the light bright, but good. That's because those are so big. And these are the ones we've got. I really wish we got He-Man or something like that. Because I I do really like Masters of the Universe. But I, we would definitely be picking up more just to get that He-Man or Skeletor. Really, really cool. And if we see any of the actual, any of the actual, oh, they just fell. If we see any of the actual world smallest, we will pick those up and make a video on those. Because I really like those, especially how they're all functioning. Oh, <laughs> my sister just tried to help me put it back on. But yeah, again, thank you to Super Impulse and Hasbro. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys all in the next video. And that's it for the comment for today. Let us know what was your favorite toy that we got today and why. Does it bring back any memories from childhood? Let us know. So, bye guys.